What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I said I was going to try to get out more videos. Here's the next one up. In this video, we're going to have a look at Deimos, one of Mars's moons. Okay, I think it's pretty neat. And this photo I'm going to show you is from the UAE, or the United Arab Emirates uh, space program, right? Now, I applaud them for going there, orbiting, and, uh, and researching both Mars and the moon. Now, in the article, which is really weird if you read on it, the, the part of the moon that's facing the Martian surface. They said it was being researched and looked at from the rovers themselves. I'm going, really? They got that much powerful equipment? They're doing it from the Martian surface. Must be pretty good equipment, right? But anyway, what I'm about to show you is pretty interesting. So my question is, and you'll see what I'm talking about as we get into this, is Deimos a moon or something else? Is it natural? Is it not? Let's just jump right into it and have a closer look. All right, you can see the article is right here. UAE in space. UAE's Hope Probe uncovers secrets of Mars's mysterious moon, Deimos. Now, let me just bring you down to this piece right here. Because they're trying to figure out its origin, or at least one of the moon's origins, because there's two. Our close observations of Deimos so far point to a planetary origin rather than reflecting the composition of a type D asteroid as has been postulated. Hmm. So they believe it came from Mars itself and not from like the asteroid belt or any of that sort, right? So I found that pretty interesting. Okay. Cool photo. Looks pretty decent. Now, we're going to get into this a little deeper because that's really not the shape of the moon. What it is, it's a shadow on the right-hand side of it, and so it gives that weird, almost looks like it has a tail. Now, this is a composite image. You can see that. The most basic answer to the question, what is a composite photo, is the combining of two or more images or photos to create a new one. Okay. That doesn't mean really a whole lot other than, they can be trying to change the colors to be more aesthetically pleasing to us when we look at it. It could be uh, brightening or darkening or whatever they want to do to it. However, in the past, uh, every photo they have censored, they'd either try to put like an overlay, or as it's also called a Z-stacking, they can literally put an, a layer of misinformation over the actual photo. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's just jump right into Photoshop. Okay, so here's the photo right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go right into cyan plate and i want to show you the amount of centering okay folks check this out look at the not only compression artifacts but intentionally put artifacts let me show you what i'm talking about so if i was to do this i'm just going to draw a square outline the shape of this one it's going to just be engraved okay and then we're going to go back to full color to a cmyk wait a minute what's going on here because now when i zoom into this i can see one compression artifact. Of course, it's not going to be straight because it's freehand. Two. Wait a minute. Why are these so much smaller than the other one I just showed you when we were in cyan plate? We're looking at the raw photo when we're in cyan plate. Okay. Here it is right here. Look at the size of that one. Look at the size. Folks, there's multiple layers of manipulation on this. Okay. Now, this is what's also interesting. Let's do this. Let's go back to CMYK. And we're going to zoom right in. Folks, check this out. Just brighten it up. Look what we got here. This is all the way around the moon. And it's covering up Mars. Okay. I see it going across. It's supposed to be legit compression artifacts. However, I can zoom out of this and still see them. Now, every time I looked at a photo that had compression artifacts, you had to zoom in pretty well, you know, pretty far in there to actually see it, right? You don't have to do it on this one. Here's something that's equally strange. Check this out. Look at the moon itself. Okay. Wait a minute. What is going on here? Why are they covering up information in this photo? What is going on, folks? So all of this has been covered up. There's a square here that has a little bit of information still showing, right? This item right here. What is going on there? Why is that there? Anybody? Check that out. Okay. Now let's have a closer look at this moon. 
Okay, so starting to see this piece here, and there's something going on right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. And you can see these compression artifacts pretty well, right? Do it again. Folks, what is going on? I showed you that there's an area here where it's not completely taken out, right? Have a better look at that. What is that? It looks like some kind of weird shaped item doing this. Something coming out of it doing this. And then it looks like there's multiple things going off in different directions. This one's going straight up. See that? See that right there? Right in that area. What is going on here? This. This part is now showing 100%. Go back to the original. I can still see this right here. Not completely blocked out as far as information. And you can see just a tinge of this here. See that? Again, we're going to do a freehand here. It's not very good, but you get the idea. And we got this right here. Folks, what is going on with this photo? And again, we can now see this pretty well as far as these compression artifacts. They go right out to the edge right here like this, you can see this pretty darn well, folks. What is the deal? Notice right here at the very edge, you can see it going like this. Okay. Now, I need input from any photographers out there if you think this is normal or not. Should we see that? I don't believe we should. Now, I never claimed to be a professional photographer. However, I've looked at plenty of these photos enough to know that... These are artificial. They're not real at all. Now, that doesn't mean this is not a low-res photo, but just by looking at it, it's definitely been censored in a big way, right? Multi-layered censoring. And again, we have that area right there. To me, that's pretty odd. And, of course, we have this right here. Now, folks, to me, this looks like a pretty cool photo. You can see the clouds over this mountain range. Pretty long, pretty wild, right? See that? More natural color right here. I think that's pretty interesting. I think these are actually more of a true color of Mars than this is. But then again, they've done a lot of censoring on this, so it's really hard to tell. But like I said, you can see this with E sticking right, right there. You can see that. And of course, this again right there. Folks, there you go. The question is, is it artificial or is it natural? Is it hybrid, meaning half natural? Somebody built into it. You folks be the judge. Folks, when I looked at this thing, you can't tell whether this is natural or unnatural, right? But I know a lot of people who have telescopes and they can see Mars. It's very hard to see Mars through a good sized telescope here on Earth. Uh, unless, of course, you're in a very large observatory, which has very large telescopes, that's a little bit different. But the average person does not. So seeing Mars is very tiny. The chance of you seeing the moon is slim and zero, okay? So here's my thing. The public has never really seen it, so they can doctrine this thing up as much as they want and make it look as natural as possible, right? So what it's come down to is the public has really never seen these moons up close, only what the space agencies are showing us. So how do we know this thing's not a hybrid type thing where it's a rock, but it's been built into, or it's more of a spacecraft, the public would never know. And so is it natural or unnatural? Anyway, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video it is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, we will have more videos coming up and we do have a podcast coming up. So stay tuned for that. Just check out the community post. I'll let you know when it's going to be. And with that, peace. We'll see you soon.